Jerem, and Tyler. Sarah Hampson's here as well, the 6'7", super senior from the women's basketball team. Sarah, how you doing? Great. Happy to be here. It's great to see you. Uh, you were telling us a story during the break about your experience with when Ty said, uh, his daughter said, do girls play basketball? You had the opposite experience. Yeah, growing up, like, we always went to my mom's games, and, like, women's sports was a big thing in our house. And so Alan one time asked my dad, hey, do boys play basketball? <laughs> so he had to go to a couple men's games after that, yeah. yeah so, and uh, your mom's one of the all-time greats here. Oh, absolutely. Of course, of course Jen was incredible. Yeah. Um, and, and you have another sister on the on the team. Yeah, Heather. Heather, which is awesome. So. And Alan played, I think, with Ty one year? No, with Tej. Yeah. Yeah, with TJ. That's right. That's right. Uh, that's my first. I confused you for your brother moment. Come so that means on, I'm getting old. <laughs> Wait, at what point was it like, yeah, I like basketball too for you? Because it's such a big part of your, your family's um, sports experience. I don't know. I've been playing basketball since like kindergarten. So I've always enjoyed basketball. Um, there was never like a moment where I was like, it, this is also fun because it was always fun. Mm. Yeah, and I think I think my parents did a good job of like having that balance where it wasn't like too much of a job growing up, and so we didn't like burn out young of just like this is something we do for fun and for exercise, and just like it's it's up to us what pace and how much time we put in. And since we're just a competitive family, we put in a lot of time. Yeah, yeah. well, I'm I'm curious. I mean, you come from such a great family. Love interacting with your parents. I ran into Alan. I think it a at a carnival in the fall. You guys are all just so kind and nice off the floor. I mean, where does the competitive, competitiveness and fire come from? Um, on the court. On the court? I think we're, we, keep it, we keep it a little more low key. Like we feel very competitive, but we show it a little differently than most. Yeah. We don't trash talk per se or get the job done. But we just get the job done and you know, we love to win and we do what we can to do that. I wanna see like a mean moment from you. I just don't <laughs> even know what it looked like. But you're such a nice person. Okay, you guys lost to Portland Thursday. That was probably difficult. Then you're down fifteen at halftime in Gonzaga at Gonzaga. Like what happened in that second half? You guys were unbelievable. We definitely had a turnaround. I think it really showed our team's grit and our perseverance. I feel like we just went to a whole nother level with like our focus, especially on defense. Like our team defense was top notch. Ever the game plan was followed like exactly. We adjusted as needed. The game plan was adjusted when we needed to. Just everyone was doing their role to the best of their ability, and like it just worked out so well. And our team is just so gritty that like being down like it doesn't affect us that much. Mm -hmm. So. I heard Coach Judkins say that you played your best game ever as a Cougar uh, on Saturday at Gonzaga. So what was, a, what was that win like? Oh, it was just so, so exciting. And, like, winning at Gonzaga is just so exciting because we haven't done that very much just as a history, as a program. I think twice in twice. the WCC, right? Yep, and so, so exciting. And just they're such a great team. And so it's always an amazing challenge and so fun. And those, like, challenging games are, like, my favorite. Like, that's why I came to play. That's why a lot of my team loves to play. It's just, like, we love the challenge. We love the competitiveness. We just love it. This is video that the team put out. And there's a part here where the team really embraces you right here, and you're extremely emotional. Um, walk me through what you were feeling right then. Well, we just had this like amazing win, the super exciting moment. And then I'm just suddenly surprised with like the embrace of my team, and they're all just so excited for me. And just I just feel overwhelmed with just the love and the validation. And I just feel so grateful to be part of this team and for this win. And I just felt so loved in that moment. And I just couldn't, couldn't handle it. Let's talk about perhaps some of the genesis of this. Because you've been a starter for the majority of your career. This year, you are coming off the bench. Not many players would uh, humbly accept that and be happy and still contribute in the way you have. How have you embraced that role? And, and has it been worth it to you, given how the team's been playing? Absolutely. I'm all in for this team. And so any success that the team gets makes it more and more worth it. I came back to play and to win games and we are winning games and I get to still play and be part of this wonderful team. I love these girls and I feel that they love me and I just really, it's just so fun to be a part of success and we're so successful this year and I knew we would be. I don't know, I'm just super excited to be here and just like grateful that I had this opportunity to come back with this team that is so amazing and going so to, to amazing places. Was that hard? Going from more minutes to less minutes? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Like change is challenging, especially going like that kind of change. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think you have to focus on like what you can do with what you have. And I try and make an impact with whatever minutes I get. And that's what I try and focus on. 
It's I don't know if they give out a, a sixth man of the year, sixth woman of the year. You should be it. Oh, you should be sure. it, right? Yeah, Let's go. Sure. Okay, so you now you guys sit at number 20, 19 and 2. Do you feel like you've gotten the respect you deserve? Should you be ranked higher than than you guys are? Um I don't know. It's hard to tell cuz like they're basing it off of like our performances and we did have that slip up against Portland. But 19 and, so and 2. Hard. 19, 19 and 2, and two right? really impressive. Is it a schedule thing, you think? But you have played some tough teams. No, we played a bunch of like well, really good teams. I just don't want to understand why BYU wasn't like 14th. You know what I mean? I, I don't know. I, I'm Do you not guys care? Part of the poll. Uh, it depends on the person on the team. There's, there's a variety <laughs> of people who care. I'm not one who cares yeah. that much. I just want to go to the tournament. It would be awesome if we could host. I don't know if that's much of a possibility now. But... Right. Right. Uh, if you run the table. And you sit there at 19 2. There's a shot. There's a chance. I think there's still to be a, chance. a top four. And and even if you are top four, it doesn't mean you will host. There's questions about Sunday availability and the gym or whatever. I, right. Hotels or whatever. I, there's logistics, right? But the higher the seed you are, the better the matchup will be in the first couple of rounds. That's Absolutely. the key, right? The key for 2011, when you were on your mission in the Philippines going to the Sweet 16 with Jim and was you play a 14 and you played an 11 because they beat the six, mm-hmm. right? That matchups matter. But um, now you have Pepperdine tonight, and it's the next thing. So how do you keep this going? I think we need to keep it one game at a time, keep that focus. I think we lost a little bit of that focus against Portland, and so we need to not let that happen again and keep looking one game at a time because every game is important to getting where we want to go. Like you said, like that seeding is important. It'll affect how we'll play in the tournament, and so we need to keep that in mind as we go every game and take it. Okay, let's finish with this. What's the best thing about being 6-7? Um, being able to reach the high shelves. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> there you go. It's awesome. It's awesome. That's yeah, great. That's awesome. Okay, Sarah, we appreciate the time. Good luck tonight. And uh, if you can't make it in person, you should. If you haven't been, watch on BYU Definitely. TV or the app. Come okay. On. Good luck tonight. Thank you. Thanks, guys.